today we're going to meet Esther, who is out uh, traveling in this really nice uh, Volkswagen Eurovan. And so, Esther, how uh, how is it, how is it that you're out here traveling around in a in a Eurovan? Well, I um, have done a lot of car camping, and and I. Um, living out of my, not really living out, just traveling with my Subaru uh, Forester, and I wanted to do, do bigger trips, and um, this is kind of my checkout trip in this relatively new van for me, to see how I do by myself, navigating challenges, weather, um, car issues, uh, fear issues or not, which I really haven't had, uh, food, kind of everything. Um, and it's been really good. I drove from South Carolina here, and then I'm gonna drive back to South Carolina. I have to work next weekend. I um, am a nurse practitioner, so I have two really great part-time jobs, and I can kind of put a schedule together, and I'm thinking about maybe doing some traveling nurse practitioner work. So oh, well. this is kind of how I'm trying it out all by myself. My family stayed back. They gave me their blessing, and they felt like it was gonna be fine, and it is, so. And your situation is a little bit unusual. You have a home and a job uh -huh. back in North Carolina, South Carolina, South Carolina, uh -huh. and uh, and hubby is at home, yes, working mm -hmm. and yep. mm -hmm. and running the household. Right. And you're out here. And so, how does that? How do you see that working out? This is these are just trips for you to enjoy. Right, right, right. You know, it's um, it's great. I mean, I it, it's it's the freedom thing. I mean, I don't really. Uh, I'm not motivated by. Uh, saving money, although that's always important. Um, but I just, in kind of a personal journey, that I, I can do this, and it's so it, it works out well. I mean, this is kind of the first big trip. My husband and I took one trip together, and then this is personal by myself. But um, and I've watched your videos for the last year and made it a goal to come to the RTR. And I'll tell you, when I got close here and I realized I was going to make it, it was very emotional for me. It's like, yes, I did it, you know? And all my friends back home, they were very encouraging. And um, I just, I, it's just, just a big milestone for me. Well, so. you're, you're fortunate that your husband is so is uh, so understanding. Yes. And, yeah. and not, I know of women who struggle with yes. that dynamic. Uh -huh. uh, the husband just really kind of wants them to stay home with them. Uh -huh. Does he, he wants to come camp, but he's just busy? He, uh, he's a botanist and a forester. My profession so he is out a lot um, on his own anyway or with his crew and they do a lot of what he calls gypsy camping they just camp around so he he wants to come home and get clean and, Be home. yeah so and I, I want to get out and do some right. gypsy camping so right yeah it's good it's kind of we're, it's a it's a nice balance that's so, very very good yeah. balance and he's tall he's six five so I had to get he couldn't stand up in the Subaru no. so, so this he can stand up there. Nice. So that's another reason why this worked out well. So great. Yeah. So you're just working out your family dynamics, and you're yeah. both getting and meeting your own needs. Right. Exactly. And that's the way a marriage should work. Each yeah. each individual, you know, you're you're this together, but you also are individuals, and you mm -hmm. need to meet your own needs. We're co-creating. Yes, co-creating. What a perfect way to say it. <laughs> Good. That's great. I uh, wish uh, a lot of families were more families would like that. So uh, while you're out traveling, you wanted to be safe and secure and reasonably inexpensive. So you chose the Volkswagen. And how's that working out? Well, it's my first Volkswagen. I'm finding out that they're a little uh, tricky to find uh, people to work on them. Yes. Dealers. And that was one of the things that you brought up in one of your videos when yes. you're choosing a, a vehicle. Uh, make sure you can get it worked on. I wasn't looking for a VW Volkswagen uh, camper van, but I, once I saw it, I realized it's meets my needs perfectly I just and uh, so I um, got a pretty good deal on it I think uh, and then I put a little bit of money into it uh, and um, I'm just it's great the, the best thing about it in terms of safety for me is when I'm camping and if I need to leave if I, feel, I, I don't have to get out of the car I just go right to the front seat and that right. was a that was a big thing for me and um, I didn't want to potty in it. I don't like cleaning the bathroom at home. I didn't want to clean it on the road. So I'm just fine to, with my little pee bucket and my little right. rubber bucket uh, right. <laughs> if I need it. Right. So yeah, it's it's working out really well. It's 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 really fun. They are they are miracles of engineering. They, uh, they're just amazing how comfortable they've made that little van. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. 
So that you're very fortunate in that. And and the pop top, you can stand and it's move around. And you can there's actually there's an upper bunk, so you can actually sleep four adults pretty tight. But um, I've slept both up top and down below, and I like up top better because I just like to have the screens open and look around. Right. Um, the one so. knock against them a lot of people have is that um, the reliability is not superb. Uh huh. But uh, you work that out over the long run. I'm working it out as we go. Right. I'm just trying to, and it's interesting too. This car has a personality that I'm learning, and it kind of talks to me and makes squeaks and noises that I'm getting used to. So, so we're we're kind of co-creating as well too. I just I didn't quite expect that, but um, right. So I'm learning about the van. Right. 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 That yeah, was well, an old rig. How, what year is it? It's 2001. So, well, so it's not that really 20, old. Though. Twenty yeah. years. Going on twenty years. Yeah. Had 150,000 miles when I bought it. And just two thousand to get out here, two thousand to go back. So, right. be ready for my oil change when I go back. Here. <laughs> you will, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, is it okay if we take a look around? Sure. And, yeah, and yeah. See your nice little home. Yeah. Okay. Let's go do that, folks. So this is driving mode, and then when you get to your campsite, you um, can pop the top up, and then these captain seats both swivel around easily. The lever. They both swivel around, and um, then you can come up here. I've got a little table set up, and I'm gonna find my atlas. I like to the night before just have my dinner and lay my atlas out and plan my trip and figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, and then when I'm done, this just comes off. And folds down. Fits right in here, and then that just locks into place just, here. Mm -hmm, straps down. That's great. Gives you all that uh, working space, and then goes away. That's right. And um, then this is the little galley area, mm -hmm. and um, there's a refrigerator here that is three-way. So. This van has a built-in propane tank, and this refrigerator will run on either propane or electricity if I'm at a place where there's an RV hookup, and the battery. And the battery I use only when I'm driving. So, and then it's just got this little pin here, and you open it up, and whoopsie, all my food, and uh, it keeps it cold. It's, it's really good. Yeah, all those things work great. And then, if I want to cook, I just pop this up here. Nice, I nice got a kitchen. Little, little sink. It has like I think it has a I'm not sure how many like a 12 gallon water tank for the sink, and there's a little shower in the back, and um, just has a little motor. And you just turn it on, wash your hands, and then it has. Um, I never put anything other than water down here, so to empty it, it's there's really there's never anything that's. It's just water. And then if I want to cook, I just pop this up like that. Pull this out. And there's a little, just very simple hook here. Nice. I've got my controls. Spider and just, guards. And... Yeah. So that's that's the galley right there. And, and brilliant engineering. It's it's very clever, yes. Um, in addition to this area, there's a, there's a, a drawer here that I just kind of put like a few utensils in, duct tape. A lot of things that the fellow that did his talk on survivalism recommends. And while the bed's down, this cabinet doesn't open very well. I just have um, paper towels in there right now. But when the seat's up, you can store a ton of stuff in there. Yeah. And there's um, another bin right here that I just have. There's not much in there, really. I've got, well, just my water bottle and... I have a little jet boil if I need it. And then cup holders, and then there's a little mirror, and I guess it's like a, a toiletry. Kind of vanity type thing. Yeah, vanity thing. And I just keep my you know, my little personals there. And, and then uh, it's got a little thermostat. So the propane powers the stove, the refrigerator if you use it, and then there's a heater in here, which I haven't used yet. Um, 
and let's see that's this is just my little curtain that I it can't I think it comes with the proper curtain but I didn't have it so I just unscrewed these and put a little bungee and and then that's my this is kind of my shower area which mm -hmm. I haven't used as a shower but um this right here it's like the old kitchen sink it sure is you just turn the motor on oh yeah your water right <laughs> so and you, you could beach uh, and you're sandy you can rinse your fields you could shower back here. You, you could, could totally drape, shower back here. drape a tarp yeah. over the uh, hatchback. Yes. Just drape a tarp around the hatchback and yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and shower. When, and then when I want more water, you just open this up. And it comes with a little hose and you just put your water right in there. Oh, that's the fill. And just fill it up. Mm. Yeah. Nice. There's lots of storage in here. I've got a computer and some clothes, cold weather gear. Um, but that holds a lot of stuff. That here. holds a lot of stuff. And yeah. then this right here is the coach battery. Uh huh. And um, the little water hose right here. Mm hmm. Um, and let's see. And if I'm plugged up to shore power, which is uh, the hookups are over here, then I can run um, everything. Not on the battery, so you just hook up here. So if you're in a uh, like an RV park, RV park or which uh, I've never done before, how, or so. sitting in front of a friend's house, yeah, right, yeah. right. And then here's my propane. Just turn that on there, and then this is my um, water dump, dump tank. Valve. Yeah, and then these are this is intake and uh, output for the stove, oh, refrigerator. Excuse me, and. This is the intake and out for the um, furnace, which I haven't had to use yet. It's, it's just a, a, a miracle of engineering. I mean, people sure. copy these to find yeah. the most poss efficient possible use of space. Yeah, so. Everything you want in a home is right there. You know, it is. It's like it's like my little tiny home on wheels, you know. Or, and do you mind so if I ask did, you how much uh, what was your family's reaction when you said you wanted to go travel alone? Were they were they afraid for your safety? No. No? No. My my uh, husband is, uh, he, he has confidence in my abilities to stay safe. And I know things can happen, but, you know, I know a lot of people talk about their intuition. I just, I try to be safe, and I kind of put that safe energy out there. And so far, it's just been awesome. And they they can't wait to get, my daughters can't wait to get their hands on it and take it out. Right. So, that would be fantastic. And we've done a lot of traveling, a lot of just uh wilderness trips river trips um so uh we, we're all used to spending a lot of time outside mm -hmm. this is kind of just like a really big glorified tent it is <laughs> but i love it it's i don't want anything bigger than that and yeah. so they're really happy for me they're yeah they love hearing what's going on where'd you go to where are you today and, right because they know i'm not going to do anything crazy i'm pretty conservative with safety and yeah. they're having a great time right. doing it awesome really good good i'm so glad i came this has been I, because I, I did this now, I know that I, I can do this and, and work. I can travel in this and work. Well, it's everything right. I need. Well, I know that nurses have a, an elaborate system of uh, travel nursing that you can do it in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would assume that must be true of uh, nurse practitioners. It's called uh, locum tenens is what it is. And yeah, there is more of that set up uh, for physicians and nurse practitioners. Um, sometimes they're just short, like two week stints. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're three months. Um, so yeah, I'm, and, uh, I've been exploring that a little bit and hoping to tap into that. Yeah. Love to go to Alaska. <laughs> oh, and that'll be, uh, and with the, uh, remote, a lot of bush villages in Alaska and they're desperate for yeah, people to come. Yeah, yeah. The pay would be fantastic and what an experience that would be. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm hopeful this is going to help me, you know, just do more, more, more experiences. I'm not quite retired. Uh, I'm 61. So I've got uh, about five or six more years to work, but I'm not going to work full time anymore because I, it, it kind of sucks my spirit out. It does, yeah. So this is this. Uh, uh, this is a perfect to, balance of work yeah. and taking care of mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah, I'm refilling my well out here. Yeah. You know, so I've got more resilience, and and I'm just I'm really happy about it. So. Right. And thank you for all you've done. I've learned so much from you and all the videos. So great to be able to do this. Great ideas. Thank you. And that's that's the goal. And not everyone's going to do this full time. It just won't work for them. Yeah. But you don't have to. 
Uh -huh. uh, you can do this part time and it can be a snowbird or whatever and it yeah. can just change your life. It has. Well, yeah, when it's too hot and unbearable in uh, in South Carolina uh, during the summer, you go up to, to Colorado or anywhere, right. Alaska, uh -huh. lots of places. Exactly. So. Great. So, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your life with us, Esther, and your home. Uh, that's it's just an inspiration. Uh, you can find a balance that works, mm -hmm. and you're working and do and succeeding at doing that. Well, thank you. So, folks, I'm sure you got something great out of this video, and and thanks again, Esther, for reintroducing us to the VW uh, camper vans. The Euro camper vans are just fantastic, mm -hmm. In incredible engineering. Right. So, folks, if you got anything out of this, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. patreon.com slash cheaprvliving. We appreciate your support and hope to see you down the road.